All right, you guys, so we are doing another video, another get ready with me. So this is how the look came out. I did use, oh, I was gonna reach for the palette, but I don't even have it right here anymore. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see how I got this look, yeah, I'm gonna be answering your questions from Instagram. Don't forget to grab your snacks, your drinks, coffee, um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. look at this and I'm like oh this is not a good one this Catrice they dropped the ball it's too uh drying so definitely not good for under ice that's for sure maybe because it, it is kind of drying maybe if you have like blemishes and stuff like that that you want to cover up to make it like stick you know to like your face then use it on blemishes but I would not use this under the ice Okay, so let's just get right into it. First question. Hi from South Africa, love your channel. How long have you been collecting makeup? South Africa, wow, that's so cool, that's so cool. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, I would say when I moved into this house about maybe eight years ago, I started my makeup collection. Look, I don't even have any makeup in my hands. Let's go ahead and put makeup while I answer these. That would be good. We're going to go in with this Origins, uh, what is this? The Matte Moisturizer with Willow. So it's been about eight years. I started collecting makeup in a uh, little caboodle that you get from Walmart or Target. And then it just slowly progressed. Next question. How long have you been collecting makeup? Oh, well, <laughs> that's the same. So yeah, I, I got quite a few of how long have you been collecting makeup questions. What's the oldest piece of makeup that you have? Oh my gosh, the oldest piece. I think I would say the eight years ago. And it would be my Tarte palette. An old fashioned one. It looks like a clutch purse, very bulky. It's, it's like a purple. There's that one, and then I, I have Wet n Wild, like, quads, or they quads or a six pen. There we go. Wet n Wild six pen eyeshadows. They're actually unopened. I also have that too in my collection. So, Wet n Wild and Tarte. Okay, let's um go into this Shine Killer. Or you know what? Oh, before I go into that, uh, Elf Illuminating Eye Cream. Let's go in with that. Okay, why? There we go. And then we'll go in with this Shine Killer from NYX. Wow, this is actually new. I haven't even opened it. Usually, if I have a hydrating foundation, I'll go in with a matte. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? I'm scared. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> It's infused with charcoal and I'm like, what is that? It's old, but look. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I thought something was happening. It looks like car oil. Look. Yeah, I really thought something was happening. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways. Oh, this goes on really smooth. It has a silicone base to it, actually. How funny. Okay, so Ulta or Sephora? Okay, so now we're gonna go in with this one. I don't think I've ever tried this foundation before. It is pretty light, but we can tweak it with bronzer and stuff, so. So that's pretty good coverage. That's pretty. Next, I'm going to use this She Loves 
This is from Amazon and this is in the shade 02. It's just like a color corrector. It has a little mirror, but here it is. It's kind of like a salmon shade. I always like to hold my finger just for the heat, you know, so it can kind of melt a little bit more. And then put it underneath. Next question, Ulta or Sephora? Hands down, Ulta. I'm a drugstore kind of girl. Like I, my heart is at drugstore, you know? Don't get me wrong, I love Sephora. But Ulta is where my heart is. So yeah, I love the fact that you can go to the Ulta section, you know, the, the drugstore section, I mean. And then from there, you know, you can walk to get your high-end products. So I prefer Ulta. Okay, so next question around how many Juicy Couture bags do you own? Oh my gosh. Let me go count them really quick. Oh my gosh. I have, I included three duffel bags and then all my handbags and then crossbodies. 23. I'm kind of embarrassed. Next question. Is your bedroom just as girly as your beauty room? By the way, love your YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Um, no. <laughs> so the rest of my house is like a different world. Like I don't have any pinks or anything um, throughout my house. Uh, yeah, I don't have any like pinks throughout my house. No pastels. My house is kind of like a cottage feel, like vibe, you know? So yeah, the answer is no. Next question, do you speak Spanish? Very little. Growing up, my dad spoke Spanish, but he was always working and then he, he uh, had a band that he would go and perform in on the weekends. So even in school, like we weren't taught Spanish at a young age, it was just all English. I'm going to go in with my Cody Airspun powder. This is the healthy powder in the shade MN4. And then of course in school, back then, in the 80s, you know, early 90s, they did not teach classes you know spanish classes until we got into like seventh grade i think in middle school even then it was really hard for me to learn spanish but now i can speak it a little bit like i can communicate you know i learned most of my spanish from my job i work in a nursing home setting and i live here in south texas you encounter a lot of people who speak Spanish and uh, I definitely learned from my job. So you have to be around the environment to learn it. Well, which is, that's how I learned it, so. Okay, how long have you been married and any kids in the future? So my husband and I have been married 12 years. 12 years, that's a long time. No, we don't have any kids. We have a lot of fur babies. And any kids in the future? No, we're not gonna have kids in the future. <laughs> it's just gonna be us with all our fur babies. Believe me, we have a lot. Let's go ahead and go into this one, the Clinique in 14 Vanilla. This is a regular face powder. It's more cool toned, so I like to use this for contouring. What do you do for a living? What does your husband think of your beauty room? So, <laughs> okay, so the first part, what do you do for a living? I am an occupational therapist assistant and I do work in a nursing home setting. We're gonna go in with this Jaclyn Hill. I just recently picked this up at TJ Maxx. This is in the shade Swoon. Let me get my stipple brush. So I'm just gonna go straight into the top and I like to dab it off in the back of my hand. And then the next part of the question is, what does your husband think of your beauty room? So, you guys, he is totally on board with me having a beauty room. We hang out in here a lot. We have a little cot that we you, that you can, like a trifold cot that you can put on the floor. And he's in here. We put it on the floor. It's like 
actually right behind me we'll have it like we have a little spot that we put that thing on anyways so at night we like to just chill out in here because i love to watch my youtube videos here on my uh computer and i like to organize and mess with my oh i forgot to go back here this is cool it kind of dries like a powdery kind of finish which i really really like so technically you don't need to top it off but i'm still going to top it off with the powder blush but this is really pretty look at that um so yeah we just kind of like especially on the weekends we love to just kind of like we call it our slumber uh slumbering time you know <laughs> so and then when my nieces come over we're also in here too so we hang out a lot in this beauty room a lot okay next question how and when did you meet your hubs and your wedding um okay so yeah uh we got married in september september 18th i love these moonshot blushes that you can get on Amazon, shade 302. I have like three of these and I use all of them. They're so, so pretty as you can see, it's really used. There we go. So I'll do that and then top it off. So my husband and I, how did we meet? I think when I was little, we have encountered each other before, but when you're little in elementary school and stuff, you don't really know i don't know anyways the answer to that question is we met on facebook it, it was like before online dating you know we started talking because facebook was after myspace so you know how it gives you recommendations on who you may know blah 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 blah, blah. well i don't know he, he still says that i messaged him first but i think it's the other way around i think he messaged me first <laughs> so but anyways um he posted at this exact moment that he posted, uh, he posted his car, okay? And it was a Camaro, black Camaro. And I was looking on getting like that Bumblebee from Transformers Camaro color. It was on like a bulletin board and I would always pass by this bulletin uh, on the freeway and I would see that car. I was like, I'm gonna get a Camaro. I'm gonna... well, anyways, he posted a picture a brand new Camaro he got because he, he got out of the military and he went to go straight to get a car and um, he posted it and I responded I was like that is such a cool car and we were like Facebook friends at you know the time but we didn't really talk so that kind of sparked a conversation and that's how we met and then from then on we met up at like a, a country dance club kind of thing at, on our date and then we went to the carnival on our second date like like stuff like that and uh but anyways there's like a backstory because i did not realize that i knew his sister and his mother yes it said he was from corpus and stuff like that but i didn't know he went to ray and the same schools that i did until we got to know each other more and i'm like oh and mind you i met him when i, I was 20 26 yeah, I met him when I was 26 and I remember in elementary, his mom, his, his mom still worked at HEB and oh my gosh, it was like a whole ordeal. It was like, cool, this is so cool. Let's move on, right? I need to put highlighter. I'm going to use this Catrice More Than Glow highlighter in the shade Supreme Rose 020. But after the military, he moved back to, because he was stationed in Hawaii, he moved back to Corpus to be with, you know, his family and stuff. And we kind of met back up. What's your favorite store to shop? Oh, okay. My favorite, I can just think of right now, TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx. And then it would be uh, Marshalls and then Burlington Ross, Ulta Sephora, you know, all those kind of follow it. Oh, Target. Oh, I can't forget the Target. Target runs are a must. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this, the Creme Shop I Am Radiant Beauty Water. I bought this at TJ Maxx. Where's my fan? Okay. Dollar Tree. <laughs> so the next question is, what's your Starbucks order? Y'all are going to be mad at me. I... Don't go to Starbucks. <laughs> I don't. Um, I uh, stick with the uh, McDonald's uh, half hazelnut, half vanilla iced coffee. That's like the only place I go if I want like a cold 
coffee beverage and then I love to make my coffee at home um so yeah I don't go to Starbucks and they just opened a Starbucks right across my work and I still have yet to try it so I heard that the pink drink is pretty good I'm gonna go in with these two brow pencils so this is the brow stylus definer I love it from L'Oreal and then this is the uh Joa Beauty you can get this at Kohl's I mean at <laughs> why did I say Kohl's at CVS uh, we're gonna go in with this one first because it's more of a lighter tone than this one I like to ombre my brows a little bit so what is your favorite food what is my favorite food at the top of my head I love Mexican food specifically just a traditional enchilada plate with your rice your beans I love that I can always eat that oh my gosh I love shrimp it could be cooked anyway. Uh, Chinese food. Oh, we have our little favorite spots here locally. Um, but yeah, those. And then, of course, I love hamburgers. My favorite food, I would have to say, though, my favorite favorite is Chinese food. I love Chinese food. Okay, next question. Where are you from? I am from South Texas. Born and raised... How many pets do you have? I have, I think I said this earlier. I think I answered this earlier. I have actually not eight pets. One of my pets passed away and he's uh, the black and white one at the ending of some of my videos where I'm just kind of holding him, just me and him, that's it. Um, he just recently passed away. He was 12 years old. We had to put him down um, and that was recent. Now we have seven. Next question, what made you start your collection and beauty room? So yeah, I started collecting makeup about eight years ago, like officially collecting it. I've always been into beauty, into makeup. Um, the first time I ever wore makeup was ninth grade and I just fell in love with it. Just it, it like it's it to me, it's art and it's fun. It's just it gives me some like when I see makeup, just not even putting it on when I see makeup, it makes me so happy. I don't know it's it's just it's a thing you know you know what i'm talking about i need to set my brows let's use this pixie so, one i mean overall it just but and i will tell you i didn't get everything of course at once i mean i built it to become like this big of a collection you know um like i said it took me eight years and now that i have my own career my own job and stuff my husband has a good job and everything we can you know afford it and and we don't have any kids so i spend it on instead of kids myself <laughs> even though pets are so expensive by the way so okay so those are all the questions that i did get from you guys thank you so much for all your questions it means a lot that y'all are supporting my channel i'm gonna just continue talking letting you know a little bit more about myself as i put on the rest of my makeup so now we're gonna go into this palette. So this one I got at Marshalls for $9.99 and it's the LA Girl Fierce Wild palette or Fierce and Wild. This one is an instinct. I would have never have guessed it's right there. One of you had a comment, it's right there at the barcode. So thank you. <laughs> Such a beautiful looking palette. Look at that. I'm going to go with this one. Almost all over the lid. I'm going to go in with, I how do i do this right here i am 39 years old my i'm a march baby it's never too late to start a youtube channel i feel that anybody can start a youtube channel and yes i i do have a full-time job i wish i had more time to film but at this time that's not the case so when I do film, it just makes me, um, it, it's, it's a huge hobby of mine. Let's put it that way. It's not my full, my job, although I do, um, earn an income from this. It's definitely not a lot. It's just a little bit, but I am totally not doing it for the money. I'm doing it because I love to do this. I do already have a career and everything in the medical field. So this is just a hobby of mine and my husband supports it 110% and I love that. He helps me out with my videos. Any 
form of music that you do see or, or hear in my videos. It's definitely him putting it in. He did my uh, intro and outros. Like, I have no clue how to do that kind of editing. And, you know, he is just as much a part of this YouTube journey as I am, which is so, so cool. I want this yellow like that. Okay, so I'm going to put this jumbo pencil this color just for a uh, a base then we're gonna go back with this one right here so yeah he supports my youtube channel a hundred and ten percent go back in and blend it all together So I definitely cannot do like a cut crease because it's just, it's so hard for me to do. I had eye surgery when I was uh, seven years old, first grade. And since then my eyes have not been the same. So it's hard to, like this one I have more lid space. My eye protrudes out a little bit more. So I did want to touch on that. So it kind of made my eye protrude a little bit more. So it's hard for me to do certain kind of makeup looks. We're going to go in with this one. But... I've gotten better over the years. Definitely not a pro. So if it's hard for y'all to do makeup, you are definitely not alone. Uh, it was hard for me and it's still hard for me. I, I have to like tweak it, you know? See, already I don't feel that it looks the same, but we're just going to go with it. Um, let's drag some to the bottom too right here. Okay, so I was talking about my eye surgery. I do have quite a bit of medical challenges. Uh, oh, hold on. I forgot something. A corner with the same shade. Let's go on the brow bone. So yeah, on the topic of health and everything. I did have a kidney transplant back in 2005. So I've had my kidney transplant for... 17 years now i've never had a problem with it i have been on dialysis before so i do take a lot of medication anti-rejection i do have a blood pressure problem like I've, I've had a lot of problems since i was seven years old was my first time i've been in the hospital surgery and since then i've had numerous surgeries and conditions and my voice cracked a little bit right there but I do have challenges. I do have doctor's appointments. I do have frequent uh, hospital day procedures and stuff like that. I do have to take more uh, cancer checkups every year, uh, more than the average because of my anti-rejection medicine causes cancers to form quicker. You know what I mean? So uh, I do, I just wanted to disclose that, that I do have a lot of health issues, but that's not going to detour from me being happy and doing what I love to do in life. So I still manage to stay happy and, you know, I've, I've had had a struggle with uh, depression, anxiety and stuff like that. I have overcome a lot of that and, you know, I'm, I'm human, you know. Let's move on. I need to put on um, eyeliner. We're going to use this crop. I love this one. I got this one at TJ Maxx. You can find these also at Marshall's. We are going to go in with that same angled liner brush and then we're going to go in right close to the lash line. If you don't have like a pot gel liner, you can definitely use your eye pencil to draw a line, you know, like to make it a liner. Um, and then, you know what else I like to do also? Just, you know, a little brush like that and then and just go right above what you just did see and it kind of like smokes it out a little bit and that's like a little tip to get a instant smoky look and i feel that this isn't let me tweak that too because i feel it's not blended well is that looking better yeah now that's looking better Telling you, I gotta tweak it sometimes. 
The yellow shade is pretty in this palette. Very pretty. It looks like with everything that happened, my highlighter came off. So let's go back in with the highlighter, actually. I'm just going to use my finger. And then go back in with this one. Okay, so I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup. And I'll meet you at the end. All right, you guys, this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for all your questions. I hope that you enjoyed this video and enjoyed getting to know me a little better. Yeah, any other questions that you may have for future videos, let me know in the comments down below. Yes, if you are new here, I'd love to have you join my family. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell notifications. That way you'll be notified when I do upload another video. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.